baby bus. The Three Mice, the Magic Flower Pot. Autumn had arrived. The three mice were harvesting wheat in their field. Huh? Uh, what's this? Pip, the youngest mouse, dug out a gray object from the soil. Wow! It's a flower pot. Hey, let's take it home and plant some flowers. The three mice carried the wheat and flower pot home. Wow! The wheat we just harvested smells so good. Let's toast some bread and invite our neighbor Chubbs to eat with us. Tappity tap. Chubbs the pig arrived at the three mice's house. They ate the delicious bread together. Oh, 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 mm, oh, Dot, your toasted bread is so delicious. Oh, mm, mm. As Chubbs was gobbling down the bread. He accidentally dropped one small piece of bread into the flower pot under the table. Plop! The bread fell into the flower pot and sprouted. <laughs> oh my goodness! The empty flower pot sprouted a small bud. This is so amazing! Plop! Plop! Whoa! The little bud in the flower pot has grown into a bread tree. <laughs> Woohoo! The bread tree grew and grew. It became so tall it was about to burst through the roof. It even bore huge golden yellow pieces of bread. Wow! This flower pot is so amazing. It's growing a bread tree. The three mice and their neighbor plucked the bread together. Strangely, when the pieces of bread were all plucked, the bread tree vanished. This must be a magic flower pot. It looks like whatever is put in it, that's what will grow out of it. Now that the flower pot is empty, we can plant something else again. <laughs> Let's hurry and try. Chubbs asked politely. Squeak, Dot, Pip, may I try the magic flower pot? I, uh, I want to plant some candy. <laughs> of course, but our house is too small. Let's move the magic flower pot outside. The three mice and their neighbor carried the flower pot to the open space outside their house. Chubbs brought over some candy and put it into the flower pot. Pop, 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 pop. The candy in the magic flower pot grew into a tall candy tree. <laughs> My candy tree has sprouted. This is great. <laughs> Soon the candy tree was covered with candy of all shapes and flavors. I'm so happy! I have so much delicious candy now. <laughs> Chubs, we'll help you gather your candy. Saying that, the three mice shook the candy tree together. Pitter patter, candy rain splattered down. <gasps> then the candy tree disappeared. <laughs> Thank you, Squeak Dot. Pip for your magic flower pot. Saying that, Chubbs carried home a big bag of candy on his back. Meanwhile, Feral the big fat cat was sitting under a tree, resting and sipping honey water. He saw what happened, and he was dumbfounded. <gasps> oh, that flower pot is so amazing! Whatever you plant grows instantly. <gasps> I want to plant something too. Feral rushed out, snatched the flower pot, and ran away. Feral, that's, that's our, our magic, magic flower, flower pot. pot. What? What do you mean, your magic flower pot? It's my magic flower pot now. Meow. <laughs> Feral picked up the flower pot and thought. Um, what should I plant? He thought for a while. <gasps> Ooh, I've got it. Pharaoh poured a little of his honey water into the flower pot. Sizzle! The magic flower pot began to smoke. Huh? Nothing? Well, maybe I didn't pour in enough honey water. As he said that, Pharaoh shook his hand and poured all his honey water into the magic flower pot. Rumble! <gasps> oh! <laughs> it's sprouting! Oh! <laughs> I'll see what will grow out of it. Oh, goodness. Out of the flower pot grew a... A bee 
hive tree. A swarm of bees flew out. Buzz, buzz. Oh dear, it's not honey, but bees. The big fat cat started to run in fear. Ouch! Oh no! Please don't sting me. Ow! It hurts. Ah, stop. Pharaoh was stung so badly his head was covered with bumps. He was so terrified he rolled and crawled away as he tried to escape.